All right, we continue our coverage this morning of the opening of the CGI Rochester International Jazz Festival with an interview with one of this weekend's headliners. The Devin Allman Project is led by the son of rock legend Greg Allman. Devin told us all about that by Zoom. Devin, talk about uh, being back on tour and on the road again and what it feels like as a musician and artist. <laughs> It's everything, man. Connecting with people, you know, live is just, it's, it's the best, you know? And I think us musicians, we really realized that during COVID, you know, having to kind of live stream from empty theaters or, or our living rooms or whatever. Um, I mean, it was definitely a way to connect, but it's, it's not the same, you know? So we've, we've missed the people. We have missed the, uh, the congregating and the, the feeling good together. Yeah, there's something about the energy you feed off of a crowd. Uh, it's cliche. Yeah. It's cliche to say that uh, music runs in your blood, but you have your family has such a rich tradition in music. What was it like uh, growing up for you, and and kind of e experimenting with music along the way and figuring out your path? Um, it was interesting, for sure. You know, I mean, my dad was in Rolling Stone magazine and on MTV, and I left high school early to go. Be on tour with the Allman Brothers and and kind of learn, you know, tricks of the trade and and really to kind of make a decision on on if that's what I was going to do um, because I was heavily involved in theater in school and so I were you know I I didn't really know between music or theater which way I wanted to go and I figured if I went on tour with them that would uh, you know give me the answers I was I was seeking. Um, it was cool, man. You know, he really let me do my own thing. He didn't really meddle. Um, you know, I was into different types of music. I tried out, you know, different genres and, and you know, had some cool bands in the 90s kind of coming up, cutting my teeth. And then I started to do some shows opening for him and, you know, got my own record deals and toured around the world and kind of found my way and, you know, did uh, some solo stuff and some ensemble stuff with, uh, you know, with some bands like uh, Royal Southern Brotherhood and Almond Betts Band, so I really got to to do a lot. Let's talk about uh, where we're currently at the Devin Almond Project and and what people can expect from this show. Because reading the description, it it sounds amazing. We're talking about you know some original uh, Almond Brothers songs, some of your fan favorite originals, but also surprise covers mixed in there too. Yeah, I mean, we, you know, there's a lot of bags to pull from now. Mm. I mean, we've got, you know, my, I, I've got like 11 records out. Hey, babe. Babe. <laughs> <laughs> I've got like 11 records out. And, um, you know, and then there's obviously the Allman Brothers catalog, my dad's solo catalog. Um, and then, yeah, we try and, and throw in a few covers. Um, I was on tour with Samantha Fish um, a couple months ago, and we were doing Fleetwood Mac dreams with uh with my whole band her whole band wow. and then the river kids who were opening up and it was like 13 people on stage doing fleetwood mac dreams and it was really beautiful so you know we try to kind of shake it up throw out some curveballs yeah now that you're back on the road too i'm curious when you come to this a festival like this there's so many shows happening around you too at the same time obviously you've got your show on the big stage there do you get a chance to check out some of the smaller venues and smaller artists who are up and coming and take in different music yourself sometimes um a lot of times we're we're traveling in mm. and so we don't get to really get in and get settled and and you know watch like we used to it, it used to be in the, in the early days we would get there right at the beginning of a festival and see everything and do everything and now um you know, sometimes we're just flying in for six hours and flying right out. Um, so it really depends on the situation, but I, I, I love seeing up and coming talent. And, you know, I've, I started my own record label a couple years ago and signed two artists and I'm all about, um, you know, kind of paving a way for the next generation of, of, you know, artists to, to carry this tradition on. Yeah. Uh, Devin, we're excited you're coming to Rochester. Uh, safe travels as, you, as you're out on the road again, and appreciate your time with us today. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Can't wait to rock. Thanks, yeah. guys. Take care. Bye-bye. Right.